Yo, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's here once again, bringing you another action figure review video. And tonight I'm just going to be taking a look at one of my most recent hauls. Uh, we're just going to take a look at some of the stuff that I got. Not exactly going to be reviewing things right now. Uh, just kind of, we're going to talk about the stuff that I got. You know, it's new stuff, so. Uh, some of it's not brand new, but it's new to me. Uh, oh yeah, with the, let's just get down to it. Um, something that is new we'll talk about from Hasbro, and that's this G1 style uh, Astro Train here we got. Uh, and it's it's pretty cool. I'm liking that they're still continuing to do these like G1 styled throwback to the 80s packaging here with these figures. Um, so far, I've got I think I've got most of the offerings of these that they've gotten, they've released. I've seen this a few times out and about, and I haven't really messed with it, but I couldn't find shit else tonight, so it's time to pick it up. And you know, they're they're available in most places. Uh, I'm I'm still finding um, what is the sound wave in some places, so. I know that one was like a big one that people were going crazy over there for a while. Uh, <laughs> then it kind of started warming pegs, and I think this one might do the same. I don't know. It's got a following. I like this shit, so I'll pick it up. All right. So that was that. Then I ran across some NECA, which, you know, I don't have enough NECA. I've got quite a bit, but not enough definitely need a lot more of this shit, especially the most modern stuff that they're putting out. But I went ahead and got me a Terminator, the T-800 style, from the newer movie, Dark Fate. And there's another one that's got Sarah Connor that I'm going to keep my eye out for. I want it for sure. But yeah, I decided to pick this one up. Like it. So yeah, eventually I'm going to get down to doing some reviews on all my NECA stuff. I, uh, it's all about getting shelf space and having more shelves, having more space for shelves. So NECA kind of gets pushed to my, I mean, it's it, because like it's such good stuff that I, I'm okay with keeping it packaged just in case hard times come across and I might have to sell some of my shit. I have some stuff to make a buck on. <laughs> uh... Another thing is I picked these up, which I had the whole collection of these not too long ago, except for one figure, and it was the Doppelganger. I ended up selling the whole set of these, and after I talked about this, too, because I was talking about watching recently, watch, finally watching Stranger Things, and how I had already sold these son of a bitches before I watched the show, and I was really salty because I was like, damn, man. Those figures were cool. The show was cool. I had the figures. And I didn't have the Doppler, Doppelganger or whatever it's called. Or ah, something like that. So yeah, I, I came across these two anyways. And I'm like, yeah, I'm picking them up. And I'm going to go ahead and dive in and go back and get all of the figures again from this Stranger Things. Because I, I just have to have them now. <laughs> and... These are two of my favorite characters from the show. <clears throat> and, yeah. So I really had to get these first. I might as well. So, yeah. They're coming back around. And eventually, maybe I will review them. I don't know. I, I, those, I might want to keep them carded. Just because they're probably not going to do anything else with them. That is the full set. Why not just keep it carded? They look great in the package. There's no point in, you know, you get what I'm saying. Okay, and one more thing, which uh, this I probably will be reviewing soon. Uh, I think this is pretty dope. It's from uh, Ben Presto. This sweet-ass trunk statue right here to go along with my Dragon Ball shit. So, absolutely love this. Can't wait to get this one put, busted out. And already found a place for them on my shelf, so liking it. I ain't done a statue in a while either, man. So yeah, 
I just, it's not too often I find something new that I actually want and prefer to have in my collection. Uh, so, here's something I want to talk about. Um, I'm normally not a big Hot Wheel guy. I don't do Hot Wheels usually, but there's certain ones that I'll pick up just because I'm like, God, those are cool. So, while I'm searching the aisle, found my Transformer and stuff, and I end up picking up this second, which I did a video of this earlier, I picked up a second one of these human torches. Um, yeah, she come around the corner, she's over there by the Hot Wheels, and she come and brings me these. And I was like, huh, that's fucking cool. And yeah, like I said, I don't normally do Hot Wheels, but you put Ninja Turtles on it, we got Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Yeah, duh. Do I want them, she asked me. Yeah, sure. Thanks. So yeah, she hooked me up with these tonight. And there is one more. We couldn't find it because that's, there's a big ass party van that comes with these. And she said she couldn't find it, so I was like, alright, well, went around to the other aisle. I figured I'd go there and take a look with a sharper eye, trying to see if I could find it. And I found these, which I thought were pretty cool, so I picked these up also. But I do have some of these as well. We got Gambit now. He's got a car. Pretty fucking sweet. And Cable's got a weird looking car. It's pretty sweet. I, I'm just, I'm only into these, really. There's, I, I don't give a shit about Hot Wheels. Like, all, all Hot Wheels is selling me right here is a fucking cardboard. That's it. That's the only thing. Because other than that, like, the cars are kind of shit and dumb. I don't really give a fuck about them. You know what I mean? There's nothing special about those cars at all. But, <laughs> when it comes to the packaging, I really like it. So... Yeah, and, and maybe these have been out for a while. I don't know. I haven't seen them. I mean, I've I've got the Hulk car and stuff that's on the back of here, and maybe even the Iron Man car and the Black Panther. Probably don't have the group, but I do have some of the ones that are on the back of here already. But I haven't seen these yet, so I picked them up. And really, I mean, we do. She's been eyeballing the Hot Wheels, and she helps out because she knows that I'm looking for the... Uh, there's a Master Universe one that's, it's the, uh, uh, what the fuck is it? I can't remember right off the top of my head what it's called, but there's that Master Universe vehicle. And then there's a Thundercat one that's supposed to be out too. And I know, I see some Hot Wheels, there's some cool shit out there, but I'm just, like I said, I'm not a big Hot Wheel collector. I gave up on that shit a long time ago. That pretty much, that sums it up for... My latest haul. So, it wasn't a lot of shit. Which, you know. <laughs> sometimes it isn't. Uh, there's just, it's not the pockets really hurting. It's slim pickings out there, man. It's slim pickings. I mean, I went, just a couple, about a week ago, I went to all my, my most local Walmarts and Targets in the area that's, you know, maybe 15 minute, 20 minute most drive. And tonight I ended up going one that's like going a little farther away, about 45 minutes, almost an hour away from here uh, to try to canvas the area. And it's all the same shit. It's, if, if, if it is new, I already have it. You know, I'm not finding any of the stuff that I need. So, um, yeah. Slim pickings out there, man. And I guess, I mean, if I should... I went kind of late, too. Had a lot of stuff do, going on in the daytime and didn't make it out until kind of late and only had about an hour before a lot of the other stores closed. It was like 9 o'clock when I finally got out shopping. So, yeah, hopefully I'll have better luck. I'm going to try to go to a... Here next time, I'm going to go to the bigger city, like St. Louis or something, and, Check that area out, and maybe I'll find some good shit. 
But I need to pop into more game stops, but the problem is, like I said, later at night, with nothing open, so... GameStop still got a few things I need to get my hands on. All right, well, better luck next time on the toy hunt, man. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's my haul. That's what I've been, you know, I hunted, and that's what I, I found. So it's cool shit. It's gonna, it'll have a place in my collection somewhere. So, uh, I guess stay tuned. Pretty soon, I'm gonna do a video of that statue. So. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And as always, it's your boy Master Marvel 80 here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace.